Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, next fly we're going to tie up is called the Humpy. Uh, this fly actually was one of the very first dry flies that I ever learned how to fish with and it was it was an awesome little fly. I just fished it on little pocket water and little little creeks in Wyoming. Um, but just a great fly. I'd go through probably, and that's the only fly I would ever fish because it worked so well and I'd go through you know, four or five of them a day. Um, or every time I go out fishing just because the fish would just destroy these things. But So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tie this up. It's it's a tricky little fly to tie. It's taken me quite a while to learn how to tie it so it actually looks good. Um, and it still isn't perfect, but it's it's getting closer. So this one is going to be a red humpy. So I'm using red thread. Um, the other color that I use a lot is chartreuse, kind of a bright fluorescent green. Uh, which also works, which also works really well too. So what we do is we've got the thread at the back of the hook and I've taken a little clump of uh, moose hair and slide it in the stacker. Moose hair works really well for tails because it doesn't, uh, you can really clamp down on it with the thread and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fray out at all like you would get with deer hair or elk hair. We don't need a big tail. I usually go about halfway up. Trim that off. Finish tying it down and then we're going to go up to about three quarters the length of the hook shank. And this is where we're going to tie in our wing. And so now is when we use the elk hair or deer hair, whichever one you want want to use. Stick that in our stacker. Oh, shit. I just dropped it all on the floor. Whoops. <laughs> Gonna have to do it again. Okay, let's try that again. That looks better. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky and and it uh you have to kind of be able to multitask to tie the rest of this fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the hair down and cinch it down, still holding on to the hair, and just working my way back. And after you feel like you've got it tied down pretty tight, we're going to take and we're going to cut about half of this back stuff off. Okay, now before we split our wing, eventually we're going to end up splitting this hair into two wings. But before we do that, I'm going to build up the back. Okay, so I take and make sure you hold the hair with your left hand. If you're, I guess if you're right handed, it would be the other way if you're left handed. Um, and keep holding on to the hair. And we're just going to wrap and build up a body with our thread. And I'm using I'm using a dot uni thread, and so it doesn't take doesn't take too long to build up the body, and it doesn't have to be definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so once we get the body built up, we're gonna take and we're gonna pull this back over the top. We want our thread right behind right behind the wing. And I'm never gonna never gonna stop holding on to the to the hair. And now I've made a couple wraps to get it down and we'll trim it. Okay, and it looks kinda goofy right now, that's okay. It's gonna we'll clean it up, kinda clean it up at the end. Alright, so the next thing we'll do is we wanna stand up this wing and split it. So I'm going to take my thread and I like to build up a little bump right in front of the wing 
kind of keeps it, helps it stand up. And then we're going to split it. So grab half on one side, half on the other side, and we're just going to make figure eight wraps. around each wing. And we should end up with two, hopefully two decent looking wings. I'll show you what that looks like from the front. So what it looks like from the front. What it looks like from the top. And the last thing there is to do is tie in our hackle. And for the hackle on this, I'm using one brown hackle. Tie that one in first. I always trim the tips off so that the hook or that the thread has something to grab onto. And one grizzly hackle. Tie them in at the same time. It's easier to do this if you tie both. I found that it's easier if you do both hackle at the same time and wrap them at the same time as well. So now that we have them tied in, we're going to do one wrap in front of the wings and we're going to come around behind the back and then back in front and tie it off. A couple wraps. Get it down tight. Build up a little bit of a head. I always like to clean up any hair that is kind of around the eye. And slip in a whip finish. And there we go. That's the humpy fly. I'm going to try to spin this. I don't know if that's going to help you guys kind of see see it a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's the humpy. It's I like this color, the red, and the chartreuse. And then I've also used yellow. Um, haven't had probably quite as much luck with the yellow, but uh, awesome little dry fly attractor pattern. And once you figure out how to tie it, it's not... Uh, not too tough, but I still don't have it perfected, but it's, it, they seem to get a little bit better each time I try, so um, that's the humpy.